Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's Michael from The Recovery Team, back with more practical data solutions. Have you ever experienced issues with Microsoft Excel? Yeah, we have a few solutions for you, but before we dive into that, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe in order not to miss any of our easy to follow tutorials. Let's get started. Now, circling back to the video, and today we're going to cover one of the very common issues which occur when you're working with Excel VBA applications, and namely that's the error can't find project or library. And in this video, we're going to explain why this issue can appear and of course how to fix it. So if you want to find these easy to follow solutions, make sure to watch until the end. Just like with every other problem, before we can actually find a solution, we need to understand why the problem has occurred. So in order to find how to easily fix that condition, let's find out why this error occurs. Most commonly, we can notice that when Microsoft's Excel program itself fails to load the required object library and can't use the VPU or macro functions, and it's going to trigger that exact message, can't find project or library. Another possibility is a library compatibility issue. If the library version is old, let's say you use 2007 version, this can be another potential reason that can trigger the error. Consequently, the program is going to fail to find the right library and eventually display the well-known error message. When the library is toggled off, it restricts the program from linking to the library and as a result, the compilation error occurs. And finally, another common reason that can trigger the compilation error is an outdated Microsoft Office version. Many users who have previously used Office 2003 have reported the exact same behavior and error message. And now since we know which are the major reasons which can trigger such an error message, let's figure out what we can do. It is important to understand that this compilation error could be caused by various reasons. Therefore, unfortunately, we don't have a universal solution that can work on everyone's environment, but we have narrowed down the most popular ones and those which are most effective. Starting with the one that seems to work in most cases, removing the reference to the library, and since the error commonly occurs due to a lost reference, that's the most effective kind of fix. To get to know how it works, just bear with me in the next seconds. Make sure to launch Excel and open a file which is triggering that same error, and then press Alt and F11 to switch to the VBA editor in a new window. Under the Tools menu in the top menu bar, click on the References button, Look for an option that starts with the Missing. This option will refer to the missing library that you'd want to remove. Once you locate the dedicated library and project, simply uncheck the checkbox in the front and click the OK button. After you've done that, exit the VBA editor, save the file and that's it, you won't get the error any longer. Second solution that we offer is going to make you to re-register the library in order to fix the issue. Don't worry, because this can be done in a few simple steps. Well, they do involve command line, but I promise it's nothing complicated. Press Windows and R in order to run the launcher on your Windows system. Then type reg svr32, followed by the full path of the library file. In case the path contains any spaces, you're going to have to write it inside the code. This is going to look something like this rec svr32 and then you point to the full name. Now try launching an Excel file and see if the error is going to persist or not. If you're still encountering the error, the only remaining solution would be to unregister the missing library. In order to do so, simply replace the above command with the following command in the run launcher. This will unregister the missing library and you won't face any longer the can't find project or library error. So that was it, a couple of simple to follow ways in order to overcome this scary error message, can't find project or library, which very often can occur if you're using Excel VBA files. And doesn't matter if you encounter this on your computer or in an office computer or your friend's computer, just try to apply any of these solutions and that's going to make the error message go away instantaneously. If you find this video useful, then make sure to give it a like and for more practical data solutions, Check out if you're subscribed. I'm Michael and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.